what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill and today we're kind of doing a killer kit style video I used to do these all the time when I used to subscribe to a couple of scrapbooking kits um, and so it's slightly killer kit it's more like let's put a slight dent into our kit collections so over the past six or so months I've been um, putting all of my extras from the citrus twist pocket life kits in a couple of pouches and it's really handy for when I go like to a crop or if I want to uh, scrap on the couch because I'm being a bit lazy and just want to relax and not sit at my desk because in the pouches I've got a whole range of like there's cards there's stamps there's stickers there's six by eight or six by six papers there's a whole lot of stuff so the problem is they're getting a little full so I decided to do a bit of a, a killer kit style video in which I'm just using up as many products as I can and just trying to make a dent in my collection because I will eventually break these uh, pouches up and put them into my stash like not like so put the project life cards with the project life cards in my stash um, but for now I just wanted to do a little bit of killer kidding so here this card was just perfect because um, it was I when I first saw this card in the pocket life kit I did wonder how I was going to use it because um, it's got this lovely duck goose type bird and I just didn't know when I'd be able to use it and this project life page is all about Archie's first time in uh, our spa and we have a lovely hot tub outside we didn't put the jets on or anything it was just a nice summer day so the water was warm and we just put Archie in in his little ring and let's just say he he wasn't quite a duck to water ha huh? see how I use that card there um, but he he tolerated the water which was quite nice and he he tolerated it he enjoyed splashing he just had a frown on his face the entire time he didn't cry just extremely disconcerted about the whole situation I think um, so we, we only spent a little bit in there but I I love using I love finding things when you least expect them that are perfect for the photo that you have if I if I had started this page by looking through my entire stash I would have been there for hours so if you are a subscriber to any kit club subscription service I, I think it's a really fun idea to just for a few months after you've used the kit as much as you want for that month or a new one arrives and let's be honest when the new one arrives you're like ah this old thing let's put that to the side let's look at the shiny new things um, I think it's a fantastic idea to just put all of the goodies in one spot so that way you can just pick it up and go and know you've got a good variation of things that you can choose from for this one uh, I have been hoarding these puffy letters like there's no tomorrow I think I've been hoarding them because they're black they're very usable um, I often struggle with using colored thickers as well as just colored letters and I always I seem to always reach first for either the black the white or the gold because let's be honest gold is a neutral for me and so I was really happy that I hadn't made a dent in this uh, sticker sheet yet because I wanted to try and write three different things all about my top three for this time right now for this week and if I had started this with a sticker sheet of course that I'd already kind of used a bit of I think I'd only made like one word out of this before it would have been a lot harder to try and figure out what I could actually write um, so I just use these and the good thing also is if you keep your kit collections no matter if it's Citrus Twist or Hip Kit or Felicity Jane or whatever kit subscription you subscribe to um, a lot of the time they do similar like the same font but different colors and so that's really handy if you're doing something like this and you would like to kind of mix up the colors but still keep the the font the topography the same so that it's not too overwhelming it's just overwhelming enough um, while I'm sticking down all of them making you watch this for a very long time sorry about that um, I just thought I'd let you know that we have entered June now while I'm filming this voiceover we're very not in June we're a couple of months 
previous to June, but I wanted to let you know that in June, I am planning on doing several live streams. Now, I have I don't know the times and dates right now, but if you check the description box for this video, they should be in there. If not, head over to either my Inky Quill Instagram or Facebook and you'll find all the information there. But I'm doing some live streams on YouTube. I'm hoping for every weekend. That's my plan. However, I have two rather large hurdles in June, uh, one of which is I'm teaching at the Brisbane Expo next week. Ah, there's still tickets available for my classes if you're a Brisbane person, Queensland, Australia. I did realize someone commented when I announced that I was teaching classes in Brisbane and they went, I'm so excited. And then I realized it wasn't Brisbane in the USA. I didn't know there was a Brisbane there, but unfortunately I'm not traveling there quite yet um, but there's still tickets available I'm pretty sure for my classes well there is when I'm recording this but there should still be spaces I think I'm teaching five classes all up so the info for those is in the description as well um, but I am really excited to get back into live streams Aaron if you are new to my channel Aaron is my husband and he has a channel called Inky Beard because uh, he's bearded and mustached that's that's now a word uh, he has been live streaming over on Twitch lately which is a different platform I feel I feel like I should know things when I use words like platform it's a different platform that's uh, based just on live streaming and a lot of gamers use it but it's also uh, stretching into like the creative kind of world as well I will be continuing to just do my live streams on YouTube however so don't worry you don't have to learn a, new, a whole new website and how things work um, I will be doing them here on YouTube and make sure that you're part of my Scrapaholics Anonymous Facebook group links always in the description as well uh, so that you know when they're happening and and all of that info back to the layout now here I decided orange is a color that you know if you're a long time inklet I do struggle with orange and green a little bit I'm warming up I'm very much warming up to yellow I'm enjoying yellow at the moment uh, I don't know if it's been up yet but I do have a layout that's completely yellow it's monochromatic yellow and it's one of my favorite layouts that I've done recently that might not be up yet it might be up in July I think um, or August oh who knows I'm pre-filming a lot of videos at the moment it's fabulous I like getting ahead with um, with editing and filming so that I'm not doing things last minute anywho I digress so I I'm not a huge person with orange and which is why when I do these little when I put all of my leftover kit goodies for the month they're quite often are colors that I'm not jumping towards and I think that it's a great way then because your leftover kit goodies are in one little pouch they're not just in your huge stash you're more likely to reach for a maybe a different color that you don't usually reach for or maybe a like a, an icon or a shape or a, a duck goose looking thing that you wouldn't usually reach for because your uh, supplies are limited so I tend to try and just use what's in these little pouches when I do this type of thing I just went away to a scrapbook retreat recently and I did a whole lot of kit killing um, I managed to do I think it was 11 project life pages and I think at least seven of them seven or eight of them were doing this same kind of method um, I did a layout share of those over on patreon I'm pretty sure yes I did yes I did it should be up by now so I I'm enjoying adding a little bit of like handwriting here and just tiny little details to my photos now this one I had the perfect sticker for who ate your bowl of sunshine this morning thundercloud because he did look like a bit of a thundercloud while he was giving us the evils and frowning and I tried forever to see if this was adhesive before realizing it wasn't adhesive and then I just decided to rip off the backing because I had cut I had cut it smaller 
And by doing so, I had disrupted the puffiness uh, because I had cut the like the seams of the puffy sticker and it just wasn't puffying anymore. So I just ripped those bits off. It's not puffy anymore, but it still has the same message on it. So that's OK. And I'm just sticking that down. But I'm really glad that. I didn't move this sticker into my stash because it just would have got lost. And then when I had the perfect photo for that phrase, because that's you can't really use that sticker on every photo. You have to have a specific photo for that. Um, I would have forgotten about it. It would have got lost and then it'd just be supplies that I wasn't using. So here is the finished page. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that bottom photo, the four by six one, I actually put on a flap and stuck it down because there wasn't a four by six uh, slot. But I hope you enjoyed it. Get ready for some live streams. There might even be one today or tomorrow because I'm hoping for the weekends. Who knows? I have to figure out the times and time zones so that I can stretch them out different times so that everyone can join in a live stream all right guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you next time bye